So today I'm going to talk through my monthly favourites from June and I probably say this a lot but this month in particular has gone so fast I feel like I just did my monthly favourites so it was quite a struggle to collect all my favourites because I feel like it hasn't changed that much since last month but I do have some bits here, some beauty, a bit of food, a bit of like non-beauty other stuff as well so let me just get my little box. I've got everything here and I'm just gonna talk through all the stuff I have in front of me. So the first thing I showed in my last monthly makeup routine video and it's a primer from Tom Ford. This is their Illuminating Primer and I love this stuff. It is pricey, but it's really worth it because it actually makes such a difference to the skin. I feel like some of these Illuminating Primers don't actually look that different once they're on the skin, but this one, I've been using it a few different ways and I love it. I either mix it with some moisturiser and just use it all over my skin or I'll use a little bit on the cheekbones and down my nose and this is kind of a white primer. They have just bought out a new one which is more of like a rosy tone which I'm now trying out but I really love this one. I've used quite a lot. You can see it's kind of going up from the bottom. I pretty much use this every day actually at the moment mixing it with a moisturiser. I just love the glow it gives to the skin. Perfect this time of year. Not glittery or shimmery at all, just glowy. Yeah, I'd say this is probably one of my favourite Tom Ford products now. Next up is another makeup item and this is from Urban Decay. This is their All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I do have the large one somewhere, but this is the travel size that I just keep on my kind of beauty desk. And I've been using this when I finish my makeup, just at the end. I might do a little spritz now. Oh, it's so nice. It's really refreshing to use, but it also sets your makeup and gives it a bit of dewiness. You know how sometimes I get a bit carried away doing my makeup because I really enjoy doing it and I might add a bit too much powder or just go a bit too heavy on the makeup and I feel like a little spritz of this just kind of takes everything back a little bit, kind of blends it into the skin better and I don't know, it, it makes such a difference to me and I, I don't really ever miss this step anymore when I'm doing my makeup on like an everyday basis. It's really nice, I feel like I haven't got much left in this one, I must get another travel size. Okay, let's talk about a non-beauty favourite and I'm very late to this bandwagon. They're serial podcasts. I think it's a podcast or an audio book, I don't really know. I've never really got into them before. Obviously, I really love the Ear Biscuit ones and that was the first podcast I'd ever tried listening to. Oh, my phone is ringing. <laughs> really bad timing. But everyone's always talking about how good cereal is. So I thought I'd give it a go because I really struggle to read books. I used to love reading and when I used to commute into work I used to try and read but it just doesn't really fit into my life at the moment. Obviously I work from home so I don't have that commute and then when I do I find carrying a book is quite like heavy. They don't fit into any of my bags. I had a Kindle that didn't work out. I didn't really enjoy like reading on a Kindle. So I just haven't read in ages and it's really sad. I only really read on like long beach holidays. So what Serial is, is a series of, I think it's 10 episodes. I think they're making a series two, season two now. But the first one I think is like 10 hour long episodes. And it's like an audio book, but I was expecting it to just be someone reading out a book. And I thought that could get quite boring. But it's so much better than that because they've got like characters and interviews and they bring in other voices which makes it really interesting and it's really exciting. The whole idea is they're trying to solve a murder kind of mystery in this one and it's really gripping. It's kind of weird to sit on the tube listening because you don't really know what to do with your face and if something happens you're like <gasps> and you can't really hide it. And you do have to really concentrate. I find that if I'm like playing with my phone I'll just miss what happened and I have to go back. So it's quite good like brain exercise I feel like you have to really concentrate, use your imagination, and I love it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm on, I'm only on episode three, um, but I'm completely, like, I listen to it when I'm doing my makeup now instead of watching YouTube videos, and I love it. So that's why I'm holding my phone. It's on my phone. I would really recommend Cereal. Okay, next up is a skincare product, and it's Sunday Riley Luna. I think I've spoken about this in a blog post and in a, another video. Have I talked about it in a video? I don't think I've talked about it in a video. This is a night oil. It's called a sleeping night oil and it's blue. It's got blue tansy in it and retinol and the blue tansy is what makes it blue, obviously. I love this stuff. A lot of people who have acne and scarring say it's great for healing that. And I have found that when I am spotty, I had a big spot here last week, it does kind of heal that much faster. But I also just love it as a night oil. I put like three drops on my hand, you rub it into the skin, and once all the blue has disappeared, you know you've really worked it into the skin. It's not really oily and greasy like some oils can be. It's just really nice. And I kind of give myself a bit of a facial massage when I'm using it. I pretty much use this every night. I really like it. It just really agrees with my skin. It's pricey, I know. Depends if you want to invest into your skincare or not, but I think this is great. Okay, another non-beauty. Here is my little jar of granola. I don't really know whether it's called granola or like oats or, I don't know, but I made this and I'm really proud of myself because I hate breakfast. Sorry if that upsets anyone, but I never, 
I never know what to eat for breakfast. Like, I just have not found my thing. I've been searching my whole life for the perfect breakfast and I think I may have found it. These oats, basically I made these. I kind of made them up using a few different recipes and a few products that I like and looking at the ingredients and I use these in the morning and I use them in the evening as like a little sweet treat dessert. Basically what's inside is just ground almonds, jumbo oats, maple syrup, coconut oil and a bit of cinnamon. It's really very simple, it's very healthy. I mean maple syrup, it's sweet but it's all natural and I, I think it's fine, it's not unhealthy. You can go a bit over the top I think with the healthiness but it's so, so delicious. I normally hate granola and nuts and those kind of things. I find them so bland and boring to eat. These are so delicious. Seriously, I've made all my friends and family try it and they can't believe how delicious it is. So I've used it loads of different ways. That's what I love about it. You can eat it in so many different ways. I've had it just in a bowl with almond milk as like a cereal or sprinkled on top of fruit or I've made like apple puree and sprinkled it on top of that and which you can have for breakfast or you can have that as like a crumble for dessert. I've just had it by itself as like an afternoon snack. There's so many different ways you can use this and it's so, so delicious. So if you want me to do a video on how to make these, because I know you guys liked my last kind of cooking video, let me know if you want me to do that. I'm not particularly good at cooking, but I kind of, that's why I like to make cooking videos because I think it's nice to watch someone normal who's not a pro do things like that. So let me know if you would like that video. Okay, next up is from Soap and Glory. This is the Orangeasm. <laughs> Their names are ridiculous. Exfoliating body polish. This is an in-shower body scrub and I really like this. I love the packaging, it's very easy to use. It smells orangey and zesty, which is a type of scent I love in the shower because it kind of wakes you up and it's really refreshing. And I've been using this as a scrub most times most times, like every other shower, but especially when I'm tanning. This is a quite a scrubby scrub, but it's in like a gel formula, so it's also quite easy to spread around your body, if that makes sense. Fun packaging, lovely product, and yeah, if you see this in your local Boots and Superdrug, I'd say pick it up, because it's great, and it's huge, it will last so long. I'm so happy I picked up this makeup brush, it's the RMK Powder Cheek Brush, the packaging. It's gross, but I wanna keep it in there. It's just a little um, powder brush, and it's very similar to the Suku one that Lisa Eldridge uses all the time. The companies are owned by the same company. They're pretty much sister companies. So although it's much cheaper, it's very similar. And it's the perfect size for blusher and powder and I use it every day. I either use it to set my makeup or I've been using it with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder on my cheekbones or for blusher. I could just use it for everything and it's got a really good little short handle so it's great for traveling. And I love it, it's so soft, seriously so soft. I love this brush. If you are by Selfridges, they sell it there, or you can get it online. It's great, I really, really recommend it. Next up is a perfume, and this one's actually quite new to me, but I have fallen in love with it. I'm really fussy with perfumes. I hate all those type of perfumes you get in like beauty halls, like standard beauty halls, like Debenhams, House of Fraser, like all the mainstream kind of big brand perfumes. I find them smell so powdery and sweet and fake, and it they always make me feel a bit like sick. So I love, you guys know I love like Jo Malone, Diptyque, all the very natural smelling perfumes. And I was actually sent this one. It's from a brand called Bella Freud, uh, which they sell in Space NK. They used to do candles, now they do perfumes. And this is Ginsberg is God. And they have four different perfumes, I think, if I'm correct. This one is, oh God, I really should have like researched this. I'm gonna link it below. It's very earthy and quite masculine as well. Mm, let me just spray some on me. Yeah, it really smells quite masculine actually. I like masculine perfumes and I don't know, it's different. It's not sweet at all. It's quite earthy. If you like fig type perfumes, it hasn't, I think it might have fig in it. It's not, it doesn't really smell of fig, but it smells of that sort of green, earthy scent. Well, that was hard to describe, but I hope you got a kind of sense of what it smells like. Next time you're in Space NK, okay, just give it a sniff. I really like it. I love the bottle as well. Okay, my last favourite of the month are my braces. Now you guys might or might not know that I have braces because obviously I don't wear them in videos, but I do. I have clear braces. They look like this. They're, this is my little braces pouch. Um, and they look like this. They're those like clear, oh, I washed them this morning, so they're a bit wet, sorry. Um, clear braces that you just kind of clip in and I've had these for a long time now. I've actually had some really nice comments on my videos recently of you guys commenting on my teeth being straight, which is really nice because I didn't really do it for videos. I didn't even think anyone would notice. My teeth weren't that bad before. Growing up, I had the worst teeth ever. I've had every brace pos possible, retainer, train tracks, elastics, headgear, everything. And then I didn't wear my retainer 
when I finished, um, because I was a teenager, and they kind of went back. My top teeth weren't as bad because the problem I had on top was that these teeth are huge and my dentist like shaved them down, so they looked fine. Um, my bottom teeth are so crooked. My problem has always been that I've just got so many teeth in a really small mouth, I've got quite a small mouth, so I had to have like five teeth taken out when I was younger, my wisdom teeth were taken out, so that's why they cross over, because they're always trying to kind of make their way into the middle of my mouth. So my bottom teeth were really crossed, and I just wanted to kind of get them fixed, and I went to my dentist to see who he uses, because obviously everyone's heard of Invisalign, that's like the Hollywood brand, but I think the best thing to do is just go to your dentist that you trust and see who they use. And my dentist uses a brand called Clear Guide, which is exactly the same. Invisalign has that kind of Hollywood name so they can they can charge more. But Clear Guide is pretty much exactly the same as far as I'm aware. And he kind of fitted me for braces. We did the top as well because he thought we might as well straighten them up a bit while we're there. And it was such an easy process. I have been doing it for about a year now, I think, which sounds like a long time, but to be honest, these things aren't quick fixes. I don't really believe in like doing it in like three months because teeth are bones, like it's, it takes a long time to move and if you're gonna move them that fast, they're just gonna move back, so I don't mind, it hasn't changed my life in any way. To be honest, towards the end now, I can kind of wear them at night, not so much during the day and get away with it because they still move loads during the night. It's just at the beginning, well, the dentist would tell you to wear them all the time, basically, that's what you should do. At the beginning, I had a bit of a lisp, but that went really quickly and they only really hurt when you get a new set of braces, so every kind of four, weeks maybe you put in a new brace and it's always a bit tighter but it's so clever the way it's done they give you like a video of how your teeth are going to move and then they give you all these different braces and i think i'm really near the end now because my teeth are really straight i'll put in a photo now of my teeth before and now so you can see the difference and i think it's really interesting and i'm so happy with them so i definitely recommend clear guide but also just see who your local dentist uses if you are interested. Price-wise, it really depends on what you need. You go in for a consultation and it depends how much your teeth need to move. It can be about a thousand pounds, it can be more. It, there isn't like a set price, it depends on your teeth really. So that is definitely a favourite of mine because I feel like I'm near the end and I feel like I've got straight teeth, which is really exciting because I never used to. I'll probably have to sleep wearing this for like the rest of my life, but that's fine, I'm used to it now. So those are all my monthly favourites and whilst you guys watch this I am away in the south of France with my family and I'm so excited for a holiday, it's like literally like a four day trip but I'm really excited and I am going to be vlogging while I'm there because I want to share it with you guys so I think I'm going to have two vlogs coming up this week, a vlog on Tuesday and a vlog on Thursday so I hope you guys will enjoy that and I hope you're all having a really great weekend so I'll see you on Tuesday, bye!